Hi, I'm Helen Bullock and I lead the Craig's Specialised Wealth Advisory Team. Part of the work we do is help for purpose organisations like community foundations, charitable trusts, universities, iwi groups and councils to protect and grow their wealth so that they're in a position to positively impact the people or cause that they support. The Craig's Sustainability Research Team helps us to achieve this by assessing the environmental, social and governance performance of Craig's investment recommendations. Today, I'm chatting to Craig's Senior Sustainability Analyst, Vanessa Stevens. Vanessa created the sustainability framework we use to assess the ESG performance of companies and provide these insights to our clients. Vanessa, as part of the process to develop our in-house sustainability framework, I know you reviewed many international ones. Can you tell us a bit about the Craig's framework? Sure. Craig saw the need for a framework as more and more clients were asking how they could incorporate their values into their investments. We found that the international rating agencies often had old data for New Zealand companies and sometimes even overlooked them. Craig's sustainability scores provide a snapshot on how companies rate across three key pillars, environmental, social and governance. We don't benchmark or rank each company against its sector peers, as many ESG data providers do. Instead, we have allocated each company a score for the three pillars, as well as an overall sustainability score. These scores are based on the individual company's merits compared to all other companies with the overall score made up from an equal weighting on the E, S and G scores. Our approach allows us to leverage the firm's relationships with companies to form a clear view and influence change. Rather than just scoring down, the team contacts companies to share holes we have identified in reporting and ask for further information. We think it is a pragmatic approach that goes beyond face value and looks to really understand how companies are working to improve their operations. Each company has a one-page sustainability summary which highlights the key issues that investors should be aware of. This allows our clients to consider what is important to them and have the information handy to make decisions on what to include in their portfolio. And when Craig's introduced the sustainability scoring, the concept of having a dedicated team in-house was new. Most firms were using overseas assessments. Why is it important to build this capability within Craig's? We have dedicated sustainability research analysts focused on growing a deep understanding of sustainability efforts and considerations across industries and engaging with companies on sustainability issues to encourage improved disclosures and outcomes. Bringing sustainability assessments in-house has broadened our understanding of the companies we are recommending. It has deepened our knowledge and our clients have the assurance of a framework we have developed, populated and assessed ourselves. We use a qualitative approach, which acknowledges that many ESG factors cannot be measured and that issues affecting different companies can be unique. The process involves weighing multiple factors against each other and against other companies to arrive at a score we believe reflects where the company is at on their sustainability journey and provides useful information for investors. We have taken a realistic and pragmatic approach to scoring each company with a focus on what we think is important from the viewpoint of a private investor. And you've been deeply immersed in the sustainability journey of leading New Zealand and international companies for several years now. What do you think is the biggest challenge for companies to improve their sustainability performance? I think the biggest challenge for companies to improve is having the resourcing available for them to understand what is required and the ongoing changes that are occurring. These changes may come from an investor's or consumer's viewpoint or through regulatory changes. Given sustainability is a constantly evolving process, as new considerations come into focus, the framework evolves. Sustainability is a journey where companies and the research teams that evaluate them are always learning and applying new information. Great. And what do you enjoy most about the work that you do? It's probably two things that I enjoy the most. One is giving clients the information they need to make sure their investment decisions align with their values. And the other aspect that I enjoy is actually engaging with businesses to create positive change. Mm -hmm.